Hello world, uh, this is Prince and I am in the city of Boston, Massachusetts. I'm here in the beautiful, or sitting inside the beautiful Langham Hotel, just um, enjoying a uh, fashion show um, called Kinda Fashion. And the lady sitting next to me is the fashion designer who put all these beautiful designs and it was magnifique. So I hope I'm, I'm saying it right. It's Kenda. Yes, it's Kenda. Kenda. Okay, we'll just go with Kenda. So uh, Kenda is a fashion designer here. Uh, she specializes in high-end uh, women clothing, dresses, couture, and is ready-to-go clothing. And also we have here the jewelry. Um, Eloisa. Eloisa. But what's your specialty? I design jewelry. Which jewelry. Is versatile. Yes, very versatile. And she put on a great display of jewelry. So, Kenda, you're the star of the show today. So, let's go ahead and introduce yourself to the world and tell us what you do. Um, since I was a kid, I love women oh, clothing for uh, okay. uh, dolls, Barbies, like I do with other socks. Uh, you know, I just play around. And um, and then, like, I loved it, but I, we didn't have fashion design where I grew up, which is in Syria. Oh, you were from Syria? Yeah, wow. I from Syria. And so, <laughs> I did architecture, and then like 2008 I decided to come to USA and study fashion design. I see. Yeah, so I went here for two years program and now I've been doing shows since 2010. That's great. So tell me, like, what is the inspiration behind your clothing? Uh, it just like, uh, first I sketch and then when I look at the fabric, a lot of time I tweak. Mm -hmm. I just change the design of dress form. But one second, like, I just like just, uh, uh, drape something and out of the finish line I just change it. <laughs> Well, you had some beautiful so, designs tonight. Yeah. There was one dress that like was a black and gold, yeah. very majestic. Yeah, it's, yes. I, I pick red carpet when I do my design, so I Good. love I love seeing something like different than what I see in, in stores. And everywhere I go shopping, I just get so frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> I have, so I have. So you had to do it on your own, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, and then my inspiration goes always from the big designers, so I try to compete with them. So right. this is how I do it. Okay, so tell me, look, what was your first gig or your first break, you think? Can, um, you, can you tell us your first break into the you know, fashion world, your clothing design, you know? Uh, so I did actually, my first was uh, for the Parkinson disease. Oh, so I, okay. So I do a lot of charity fashion shows. So it was for, uh, the, uh, no, actually it was for a beta cancer first. It was at the Four Seasons Hotel. Then we did the markets, and, and then I started doing shows like for colleges, student programs, and then I got into like more professionals. Great. So tell the world out there, especially ladies, why should they wear your clothing? Uh, if they want to feel feminine and they want to feel sexy, like not just, you know, because a lot of clothing just shows the skins, mm -hmm. and it just looks, for me, it's not like quite for a woman, like a lady. Right. So I agree I try, with you with that. Yeah, I try to have my clothing shows like the feminine side of the woman plus the elegant side, so I try to combine those two. And you can't find this a lot. Either you can find like you wearing like very conservative or very trashy, so I try to <laughs> No, no, no. You... So I try to have the in between for a woman to feel more feminine and, and sassy without right. exposing a lot. Well, I as a man appreciate that, I <laughs> will say that. And then, so, what is one piece of advice would you give to any aspiring uh, fashion designer out there who's watching? Um, just don't give up. Like, for me, I have a lot of problem, troubles, uh, especially with my country going a lot through, like, a lot of crisis now, Syria. I see. So, and just don't put something like an obstacle in your way. You just can go through everything. So, don't give up. Just keep going. Like, for me, it's not, I, what I'm doing is, like, I'm not just like over the word, but I'm in a good phase, but whatever, I am here. Okay. And well, I'm going to keep going, like, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. And well, and uh, oh, yeah. do you have anything else? Oh, do you want to actually add in? Do you want anything to say or no, about Kinda? I'm very Kinda? proud to be collaborating yeah. with Kinda today. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, I want to say about her jewelry as well. They have a very unique style. They're not just a necklace. They just can, she, her jewelry is like transferred to a necklace, a bracelet, or one earring can be long, short. So she has a very creative line of jewelry, so if anyone of them. Like, um, it's more saving money for your cost and having different looks in, in the one kind of jewelry. Thank you. Yeah, wow. Thank you very much. It's well, thank you so much, Eloise. My pleasure.
Well, tell us, well, what is your upcoming uh, show or any upcoming plans that my audience should know about? So, uh, for now, I'm going to uh, stop doing shows until, like, maybe September, because I want to create new, new looks. I'm going to have, like, uh, sample sales in a month. Okay. But for now, I'm just going to do, like, stop doing shows and concentrate on the new, like, new season, so people can see, like, new design, new looks. So, okay. probably by September. September. Okay, how about you? you have any um, upcoming shows you'll be presenting your jewelry as well? Yes, Louise? I'm presenting my jewelry uh, two weeks from now. Okay. At the um, State Room in Boston, uh, together with um, another amazing clothing designer friend of ours. And, um, and other than that, just working on my lines of jewelry. I have a few lines of jewelry that it's coming out this year. So it's been an interesting evolution from versatile jewelry to medical jewelry and electronic jewelry. Okay, well ladies, well that is uh, that is my time here. Thank you so much. And before we go, oh, you mind telling my audience uh, where they can follow you? They can follow me on the Twitter. It's at Kinda Tuma, which is K-I-N-D-A and T-S and Tom O-U-M-A. And they can follow me at Instagram at Kinda Tuma Fashion, on Facebook at Kinda Tuma Fashion. And my website is very simple, Kinda Tuma. Okay, and you, Louise? It's Eloisa Fitzgerald, which is at H-E-L-O-I-S-A, Fitzgerald.com. Um, it's my website, and Eloisa Fitzgerald also jewelry for Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Well, guys, this is um, Prince in the City here in Boston, the beautiful Langham Hotel, celebrating, you know, fashion, beauty, arts, and let's just do a quick toast. Good job. You know? Cheers. Good Thank you. Cheers <laughs> to you and your great fashion. Also, good fortune to everybody. Thank you. So, until much. next time, guys, be well and stay classy. All right. Say goodbye. Goodbye. goodbye.